Hi, if you are a male student and you've been absolutely enjoying the light sparring and the sparring classes, then you might have heard me say it quite a few times, you need groin protection. As you can see in Muay Thai, the kicks are hard, the knees are devastating, and you definitely would not want to take contact um, in, you know, in that sensitive area from a knee or a kick. So if you're eight years and older, you need to learn how to tie your steel cup. Now, before I get into showing you the cup, what I want to um, kind of highlight is what makes a Muay Thai groin protector better or different from something that you would use in soccer or hockey. First things first, it's made of metal. You will hear it being referred to as a steel cup. Um, it is made from an, a sturdy metallic material. And why it's made from metal is the, the force that a knee or kick can deliver can smash plastic. So you, the typical groin protector for men that you know soccer players or hockey or basketball or whatever else uses can actually shatter when they come under contact from a strong knee. Uh, the other reason too is that a Muay Thai specific cup has this nice thick padding around the edges. And what that does is in the event that there is an impact, the material doesn't dig into your groin, um, which is another problem that can occur with uh, a groin protector that's not designed for Muay Thai. So the next things next is the fun part, tying your groin protector. You will notice that it comes uh, in this fashion with three straps, all right? Now, to tie it, it's not very difficult, but it takes some getting used to, especially if you're doing it yourself. So first things first is you are going to position the groin protector in place so that it covers your privates um, nice and securely. You wanna make sure that everything fits under. You're not wearing it on top of because you don't want to create a sandwich where this squeezes your, your, your genitals, right? The straps are going to go around your waist. Right now, how you tie them once they go around your waist, that's totally up to you. A typical and standard um, knot usually suf is sufficient. So you make a knot at the back, and I like to tie it with a bow, right? This allows, allows me to make a quick release upon finish. Now, the third strap that is under the middle is the one that gets a lot of giggles and laughs, right? Guys, now this needs to come up between your legs and yes, it is going to go between your buttocks and you are going to put it under your strap and tie it tight. You want to cinch it down nice and tight and you can make um, whatever knot you're comfortable making. Again, when it comes to tying the, the tie straps, you always want to make it, do it in a fashion such that it is easy to remove when you are done training. So I like to do a second bow just like that. Now, to make things easier for yourself as well, especially if you're tying it yourself and you're not yet comfortable with tying it tightly into place, um, I recommend wearing two sets of underwear uh, compression style. So something like a boxer that fits really tightly as your regular underwear, and then one that you're going to wear on top of the cup to help keep it in place and keep the, um, the loops secure so that they don't snag on anything and then loosen up. So you create one, one tie around your waist, make a bow so that it's easy to re, uh, remove. One goes under your legs and up between um, your, your, your butt cheeks into the, uh, the previous one that you tied around your waist, make a subsequent knot or loop, and then that's that, you're protected. You, safety comes first and it's not fun training and then to get accidentally hit in the groin uh you know recovery from that can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute maybe more right and while you are on the ground in pain you're not training and if you're not training you're not having fun all right so take the time to learn practice very important to practice because um tying it in place by yourself requires a little bit of know-how a little bit of Feel. You have to practice. You can't wait until you get to class to try and figure it out. You have to practice it at home so that you don't hold up class and you don't hold up your training partners from training. Cup and cup. See you on the mat.